the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video multiplication of decimal numbers example 2.1 multiplied by 3.4 in this example we have to convert the decimal numbers 2.1 and 3.4 into whole numbers that means 2.1 becomes 21 and 3.4 becomes 34 the multiplied value of the two decimal numbers will involve whole numbers and decimal parts the number of digits in the decimal part will be 2 as 2.1 as one decimal point and the number 3.4 as one decimal point therefore two decimal points in the result uh, should be earmarked for the decimal part now let us uh, treat the two numbers as whole numbers and start the multiplication let us set the multiplier 21 in the extreme left of the abacus that is 2 in the extreme end and the number 1 to the right of it for setting the multiplicand, we have to count the number of digits of the multiplier, that is 2. Add it with the digits of the multiplicand, that is also 2. And add one column for the abacus, which makes up the number of digits to be considered. For setting the multiplicand as 5, therefore, we have to count 5 columns from the right of the abacus and set the highest digit of the multiplicand that is 3 followed by 4 to its right that means we have to set the number 3 in the 10,000 column and 4 in the thousands column let us start multiplying now let us commence the multiplication of 4 of the multiplicand with 2 of the multiplier the result is 0, 8. That means we have to set the number 0 to the immediate right of 4 in the hundreds column and 8 in the tens column. We have to remind the child that the next addition of the number should start from the tens column where we have ended the last operation. Now let us multiply 4 with 1 that is uh, 0 4 adding 0 in the tens column means uh, simply keep the number already in that column and move on to the units column we have uh, number 8 uh, in the tens column and uh, addition of 0 with 8 uh, does not change the value and therefore the value of tens column after addition of 0 is simply 8 we then set the number 4 in the units column. Now, the multiplication of uh, the digit 4 of the multiplicand with the multiplier 21 is over and therefore we clear the number 4 from the abacus which clears way for setting the results of the multiplication of number 3 with the multiplier. Let us multiply 3 of the multiplicand with 2 of the multiplier the result is 0 6 that means we have to set 0 to the immediate right of 3 in the thousands column and 6 in the hundreds column we have to remind the child that the next addition of the number should start from the hundreds column where we have ended the last operation now let us multiply 3 with 1 that is uh, 0 3 adding 0 in the hundreds column means simply keep the number already in that column and move on to the next column we have number 6 uh, in the hundreds column and addition of 0 with the 6 uh, does not change the value and therefore the value of hundreds column after the addition of 0 is simply 6 we then have to add the number 3 in the tens column with the already available number 8 
we cannot add 3 in that column because we have only one bead left there and therefore we have to add one bead in the hundreds column. What we have done? We have added 10 instead of 3 and therefore we have to subtract 7 from the tens column. Now that the multiplication of the digit 3 of the multiplicand with the multiplier is also over. We can clear the digit 3 from the abacus. The result we get is 7, 1, 4. As the multiplier and the multiplicand have a total of two decimal digits, two digits from the right of the result number should be earmarked for the decimal portion and therefore the result we get is 7.14.